These little green dots are micro-robots. They can navigate in a cell network and stimulate individual cells in a targeted manner. Researchers at the Technical University of Munich, or TUM, say the microbot is the first of its kind and has the potential to offer new treatment methods for patients battling cancer or other diseases. Berna Erskele Edelman is the lead researcher at TUM. We're using these microrobots to build um, tissues under synthetic conditions. And the whole point of this is to, in the future, then repair um, damaged tissue or organs um, at a really patient basis. So if I can sort of like, you know, manufacturing cars in a um, robotic uh, factory. The tiny robots are made from seaweed and the team has found a way to produce millions of them in just minutes. They are about half the width of a human hair or about the same size as human cells. They are soft like human cells too and can be controlled wirelessly. Philip Harder is a PhD student working on the project. Was we have is we have gold nanoteilchen uh, in the robotern drinnen and with einem laser den we here sehen können, können we bestimmte bereiche des roboters erhitzen. Und ich lasse das Video jetzt mal kurz laufen und dann sehen wir, wenn wir den Laser in die Richtung des Roboters lenken, dass der anfängt sich zu bewegen und so können wir den dann innerhalb der Zellverbände bewegen und zu anderen Orten fahren und so dann mehrere Zellen auf unterschiedliche Art und Weise äh, anschauen. Erskele Edelman said the microrobots aren't ready to help cancer patients just yet, but that the technology is supporting research already underway. The more we find out about these cells, the more, um, the better we can actually design therapeutics. 